All right, guys, last chinking video. We are finished. So if you stick around to the end of the video, uh, I've got a few things that I kind of learned along the way. Uh, if you decide you want to try this, you know, little cabin of your own, something you're working on or just whatever, uh, stick around to the end and I'll show you things, that, some do's and don'ts that I've learned while I was doing this. This is not going to be a fast process, but we will get it done. Eventually, we'll be on the inside doing it in there as well.
There's not much left in it, is there?
see. Uh, and it's, it really turned out, it turned out better than I expected it would. Uh, I used a little more sand than I thought I would. Um, all in all, uh, the closest count that I have on the chinking that we use is about eight tons, which seems like a lot, but it's a pretty big house. So it's not too bad. Um, it pays to shop around and try different materials. We started off, the only place we could find our lime, our hydrated lime, was uh, Menards. We have to drive to Missouri to get it, so we get a bunch while we're there. Well, we ran out of mortar, um, the Portland cement. Just on a whim, I thought, I'm gonna try something from Home Depot. I was worried about it being a different color, right? Um, you start mixing stuff up, you get half a row done and one looks really light and, and then it's dark and it just, you had to knock it all out. I didn't really want to change anything. So I took a gamble, I bought one bag and the color is almost identical. It's a little bit darker, but the one thing that I noticed is that you could apply it a lot more wet and it wouldn't slump. You could add more water to it. It was easier to put it in there and it would hold its shape better uh it just wasn't near as hard to it just wasn't as hard to do made it a lot faster i could go from um it was taking me longer to mix the stuff than it was to put it up it was crazy how much faster i could go and that's really sped things up around here working around the weather and and whatnot so don't be afraid to try um stuff from different places also we started off using the insulation from home depot and it was horrible. Uh, we used mineral wool insulation in between the walls or the logs. And you can't really fold it. What we were trying to do is we're trying to fold it so that as the logs shrink, when the, we heat the house up through the first season, these logs are going to shrink just a little bit so they'll expand with it. They're kind of under compression because we really packed that stuff in there. And it's just, it was hard, really hard to fold the stuff. So we went to Menards and got some insulation there. Same type stuff, different brand, and it folds like a dream, almost like it's just a piece of foam rubber. Um, so we ended up getting some stuff from some place and you know, some from another. Um, it also, you know, we have, we're kind of in the middle of four or five different Home Depots. I say in the middle, it's about, you know, an hour and a half to either one, any one of them. But depending on where we go, the same materials were cheaper. Um, we could go in one direction to one Home Depot and save 150 to 200 dollars per trip versus going to a different one. It's crazy. So don't be afraid to shop around. This is not a hard process. It is some work. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't take any real skill. You can tell because I did it all. But uh, all in all, I'm happy with it. I think it worked out better then uh using a synthetic chinking i know it's a lot cheaper uh, i price synthetic chinking for this house it's a little over twenty thousand dollars not going to be anywhere close to that with this not even a fraction of it um it's got kind of a more of an old school look but we still have all the cleanup you can see we still got some concrete smeared on the logs you can use regular old cleaning vinegar and it just wipes the gray right off so it's uh April's got a lot of cleanup to do. I'm doing the hard work, putting it up, putting it up there. Her and the kids are going to do all the cleanup. They've already started on some. So that's it, guys. We are now on to uh, tongue and groove, putting the tongue and groove up inside the house. Um, we're going to try to get that done here in the next couple of weeks. Get what little bit of plumbing we have left to do. Get it finished. And hopefully start getting doors and windows in. Um, I'm wanting to get all the doors and windows in if possible uh, before it starts getting cold so hopefully we can work in here all winter and stay fairly warm um, hopefully we'll have a winter this year like we did last year but i don't know time will tell farmer's almanac saying it's going to be going to be a doozy this year but who knows but that's it guys just wanted to run through show that we got all our chinking done inside and out have a couple little spots we have to tidy up but um we're on to bigger and better things now so i'm going to try to start being a little bit more frequent with the videos we just we want to stop and concentrate on this and try and get it done 
So that's it. We will see you guys on the next one.